Hey everybody, welcome to Kimmel's Irish Pub. Time for another movie review. Tonight's movie, Maxine. Uh, it's gonna watch Horizon. That's a two-night thing, I think. That's gonna be a long one. So I'm gonna go with Maxine tonight. Um, mildly excited, but I just saw something that it wasn't that great. It's about a 1980s Hollywood adult film star, aspiring actress, Maxine Minx, finally gets her big break, but a mysterious killer stalks the starlets of Hollywood and trail of blood threatens to reveal her sinister past. So, uh, I mean, it stars, what's her name? Um, no, that's not her. Uh, Mia Goth is in it, right? And so somehow this, these movies are all connected, and I don't quite get it just yet, right? So we had X and Pearl, who I think they're, I think they're, they're all intertwined. I don't know though. Um, I, I, I think so. Yeah, she's called Maxine in X, and she's called Pearl and Pearl, but I think somehow they're, I don't know, I'm sorry. I know a lot of more people out there who, who understand this, and I'll, I'll probably Google it, so let me Google it and figure it out, but this is one of the three movies. I think Pearl was first. I don't know. I don't know how it works out. Uh, I'm trying to think. I don't know. There's three of them. All right, let me get into it. Let me find, let me Google it, get back to you. When I check in, maybe I'll do a check-in. And I'll watch this film, let you know if it's worthwhile, and try and figure out where we are with these three fil films. Sorry, I'll be back. Hey everybody, we're at the credits of Maxine. There's actually long credits, so there might be some extras in here. Um, I'm not exactly sure how I feel yet, so let's talk through it, to be honest. And I know I didn't check in, but I did look it up to understand how the trilogy works. So, X was the first movie, right? Pearl's the prequel to X. And I think Pearl is, um, I know, as soon as I watch the movie, I forget it, but Pearl is how she grows into the lady, the older lady in X, right? Because um, Mia Goth plays Pearl and Maxine. And Maxine was one of the adult stars in X. And so now this, which is Maxine, is 10 years after X happens. So if you haven't seen it, I think that it's important to see. Um, at least to understand the concept of what's going on. So she's an adult star in X, and now here she is 10 years later. She's trying to make the transition into, like, regular acting. Um, and so the, the opening piece of it is her auditioning for a, you know, a, a scary movie, um, whatever it's called. Um, I just forgot it. But it's, uh, I don't know. Anyway, so she's, she's uh, trying out for that, and she's now making her transition, which is great. And, um, meanwhile, um, I'm trying to be careful so I don't ruin anything, but I don't think I will. She, uh, you know, starts to, there's somebody, Kevin Bacon plays a private detective who's trying to work for somebody to get, to find her, right? And that, so that's what it's all about, really. And they show other things, they show a lot of, like, you know, her building her character, her friends, um, you know, other guys who, who like her. Um, you know, and uh, show a little bit of her, you know, uh, result of what happened in X kind of stuff, like that that piece of it. Uh, but, so that's really the whole movie. She's trying to become a superstar and, and get this role. Um, the, the producer is like, you know, trying to work with her and make her become a star. She has an agent um, who is also her lawyer, who I forgot to say uh, is played by Giancarlo. Espiloto, uh, Better Call Saul, and Breaking Bad, um, so he's in this. Uh, and speaking of people who are in this, also Michelle Monaghan is in this, and um, Bobby Carbondale um, is in this. And I just have to say that they were completely wasted, especially him. Um, I think I'm saying this, you know what I mean, if I'm saying it right, what I do. There are two like, police detectives who are trying to figure out, this all takes place since 1985 when the Night Stalker was terrorizing Southern California. And so they're also like police detectives, you know, looking into different things that's going on because as she's, you know, as she's being threatened or being searched for, things around her are happening, people are dying. And so they're following her, trying to figure out what's going on. So that's your whole premise. But we have two really good actors that were, I think, wasted in this. And Kevin Bacon was in it. Um, wasn't a big fan of the actor he played, but you know, what he didn't do, he was in it the whole time. And uh, so the whole 
thought is like is she gonna become a star and are we gonna find out why she's why these people are looking for her um, and how does it all tie in so there's your premise right um, and I should have led with this and I don't know how many people have TikTok. there's a girl going around TikTok, the hawk to a girl honestly it looks like me and goth in this I was thinking to myself if that girl ever like gets a movie made I mean it would have to be pretty soon but gets a movie made about her she could play the hawk to a girl it just did so much um, just so fit um, in this and, and I think you know I think she's a great actress and I thought this movie had a really good concept that really had me um, very interested in it um, I don't know why like like I said I kind of forget what the other ones are about but this one I was zoned in not on my phone at all trying to figure out what's going down with all of it and enjoyed it and I and I don't know how I feel uh, now that it's over um, I really don't I think I don't know it, it had it was on a rise and I, I was really enjoying it and I don't want to go into too much detail because I don't want to ruin it but really good I liked the uh, the way it was the the, the you know the the time aspect of it 1985 um, and they show like, the VHS tapes and the costumes and the and the cars and all that kind of stuff and uh, so that was kind of fun I liked the the premise of hey somebody's looking for her, what's going down I liked the plot line um, I liked her I thought she did really good and but then I just I just don't know. I don't know how I could have done it better, but I wasn't crazy about how they decided to end it, you know, or, you know, the whole, the whole thing behind it all, right, um, again, I'm not sure how I could do it, but I'd have to think about it, but there you go, um, it's St. Elmo's Fire, that came on the radio and everything, so, fun, so I don't know how I feel, honestly, I mean, not like it's terrible, like six or seven, I think, for me, um, it was heading down the seventh path, I think, if they could have wowed me. But they didn't wow me, and I wanted to be wowed. Um, I, I gave an hour and, f you know, 37 minutes to this film, and then the last couple minutes I was like, ah, I don't know. So there you go. I don't know if I'm helpful at all. At least you have a better idea of what the movie's about, and you know where it fits in the trilogy. Uh, I don't think it's better than X, let me say that, and it's definitely better than Pearl. So go X, Maxine, then Pearl. I didn't quite enjoy that one. So there you go. Um, if you're, yeah, that's it. I'm not going to keep talking. I don't know if I was helpful, but I appreciate you watching. Thanks for tuning in. Gimbal's Irish Pub.